What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. It looks like the Asen Beach War in the Pacific Memorial Park will be the next public park to lose coconut trees to the invasive coconut rhinoceros beetle. Coconut Rhino Beetle Operations Chief Roland Kitigua says most of the trees will be saved, but some will eventually need to be cut down. What we're going to do is remove the half a dozen trees in there that are mortally wounded. Aston Park, if you, if you look at it, uh, the trees along the beach actually look pretty good. They have some, uh, there are signs of some damage in there, uh, but really low incidence. But if you take a look at the trees along the road, those have a high incidence of uh, uh, rhino beetle damage. And the reason why that is, is because there is a breeding site um, across the street. The coconut rhino beetle has already caused the removal of nearly all of the coconut trees down at Ipal Beach in Tumon. The invasive beetle is beginning to wreak havoc around the entire island of Guam. National Park Service Acting Superintendent Ron Bourne. I thought that's very unfortunate. I mean, most of our beaches are very beautiful around the island of Guam. It's not just within our parks. It's very unfortunate that it happens. We do hope that we can find some type of solution, um, whether it's to save the current species of trees that we do have or whether we just need to find another species that's more resilient. But of course, it is an invasive species that affects all of the similar trees on Guam. So we're also working with the university on possible solutions. Kitigua says the plan for Asen is to first clean up the green waste in the area, which provides breeding sites for the beetle, and then install the new rhino beetle barrel traps, which he says have been 10 times more effective than previous traps. And finally, they will have to remove at least about six of the coconut trees at the Asen Beach, but he believes most will be saved. I caution people. Um, we get a lot of people who call and say, oh, my trees are really bad, and you know, they're, they're dead, they're dying, and we got to get rid of them. And when I go out there and I take a look at them, they're not dead. They're actually still very much alive. So long as the center growing point is, is growing and showing signs of, of life, we want to keep that tree alive.